of classic now it's a lovely baked ham now what I've done is I've got a whole ham here I basically got it from the butcher now over in this part of the world what he does is the butcher will actually salt it a little bit so it actually cooks so if he's done that for you you need to ask him basically what you do is you put it into a big pot of normal water totally covered just to remove a little bit of that salt otherwise it would be too salty over in America or that part of the world, you might be more associated with actually brining it yourself. So you'd get it raw, you just brine it, leave it overnight, maybe 48 hours, and then you'd take it to this stage. So what I've done with this one is actually had a big pot of stock, very light stock, just basically a couple of leeks in there, a couple of onions, and I've really gently poached it for about two hours, just really, really slowly ticking it over. So then it actually cooks all the way through to the center. And what, all we have to do now is basically get that lovely glaze on it. So I'll show you how to do that. First thing, these little strings here, they're just on there to hold it together. So they're the first things that come off. Now that bone that you can see there, that basically holds the whole thing together. So that's why you, it's so crucial that you poach it. If you put it into a big pot and you boil it really fast, it's just all going to fall apart and fall away from the bone. No good. Now this outer gelatinous skin, you're not going too deep. You can see the way that there's still a bit of skin there, so I'm just taking that outer layer off, being very carefully. So just a little sharp knife. I'm going to run our knife down it. Just pierce the skin, and it should just peel away very gently like that. So you don't want that rubbery exterior part. So I'm just going to keep on prepping that, and what we'll end up with then is a beautiful piece of ham that will be able to glaze fantastically peel it back like that you don't want to go in you see I'm not actually at the, the pure meaty part yet I'm still on the outside there's still a bit of skin left last thing I want to do is pierce that meat so you can see I've stripped all that skin away and what I'm left with is a really stunning looking ham all we have to do now basically is glaze them up so a little bit of mustard I'm using Dijon today which works perfectly and then the mustard is basically going to act as the glue to keep everything else on so just using a little palette knife or spatula we're just going to smear that all over our ham nice and evenly you want to make sure to get the back of it as well but this is the most important side because we're going to present it on the table just up like that it'll be golden brown once everything caramelizes on it it's going to be absolutely gorgeous it's a real sort of centerpiece for any Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner, you pop this down in the middle of the table, you tell everybody you made it, they're going to be really seriously impressed. So just make sure it's evenly covered. Not too much, you just want a little thin layer, you don't want the whole thing tasting too much of mustard. You want that natural ham flavour to come out. So that's looking just about perfect. Now the next thing goes on there, you want to do this basically using your hand so basically brown sugar sprinkling it evenly over the ham now you see that the mustard is catching that and it's ensuring that it sticks that's what I meant about the glue the sugar is the part that's going to caramelize and give us that lovely golden brown ham that we really do associate with Christmas or Thanksgiving so generous with the sugar And then just pat it down gently now once the sugar's on there the mustard's on there we're going to do a little trick with a very very sharp knife now what you want to do watch this carefully is we're just going to score it so you can see i'm running the knife just slightly into the surface not too far so all the way around you're only going in about maybe quarter of a centimeter at the very most all the way up and now we're going to zigzag it across the other way and what you see is it gives it a really nice effect just like that now next part that we're going to do is our cloves so basically if I hold that up for you you can see that what I'm going to do is one clove into each little square so one in there and I'm telling you once you put this into the oven and you smell that wonderful smell of the cloves blending in with the mustard and the sugar I'm telling you, you're going to be really really impressed 
it'll smell absolutely sensational. So you're going to work our way all the way up there, putting one of those little clothes in each square. It's starting to take shape fantastically now, isn't it? So one more to just pop in there. And the last thing, we're just going to take the end of that orange, take the other end off there. Now laying them completely flat, we're just going to go down the middle. And now what we're looking for is basically about five or six slices, exactly the same size. You can make them fairly thick here because it's going to be in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes. So we don't want them to burn. So now I'm just going to layer those straight up the middle of the ham. Just a little bit further. And now we'll push them down in just as so they stay in the same position. Now you can see, once those cook, they're going to sink into it a little bit. All of the sugar with the mustard is going to caramelize. I think we're in for a real treat today. And I'm going to transfer them over to a little bacon tray. You can see I put a little bit of greaseproof paper underneath. All we're going to do now is we're still slightly warm from when we post it. So all we have to do is glaze it basically, pop it in the oven. Should be amazing. So I've just taken it out of the oven. You can see that it looks absolutely incredible. What I'm going to do is just get a couple of slices of it just to show you the inside. Now look at that. Isn't that the most succulent looking delicious ham? We've glazed it. Smells incredible. Now this would work just as well at a sandwich. You could just slap that in the middle of a couple of pieces of bread. But I think it really does make the perfect centerpiece for any special occasion. Thanksgiving, Christmas, anything like that.